Happy Friday the 13th from the man who knows. Um, I've spoken about this number and its origin. Uh, and all I got to say about this is why all the Triskaidekaphobia? Why is it considered so unlucky for this, you know, for this number 13 to come upon us? And, you know, it even became kind of a tradition here in America for uh, elevators that are installed in high-rise buildings and skyscrapers here in the U.S. to skip over having a 13th floor button just so people wouldn't feel so unlucky being on a floor labeled by that number. So today I'm going to bring up another theory of mine, and no one has to believe me, but I'm just going to start by saying that when it comes to many early stories and fantastical legends and mythology even, um, I try to have an open mind. I try to, uh, try to approach it and try to understand its origin. Many times I end up having to wonder whether or not some kind of magic or even maybe even another dimension may have imposed itself over our reality that uh, helped to cloud our current day understanding of it. However, when it comes to Triskaidekaphobia, when it comes to the number 13 as being unlucky, I find that uh, there are more aspects to it that are actually powerful. And so today I'm actually gonna to talk to you about how I believe the number 13 as being unlucky is actually just a superstition. By the way, before we get into all that, do me a favor and like this video. Do me a favor and uh, subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, ring the notification bell by the subscribe button. I'll continue to make videos like this just for you. These are my real life stories of the impossible. And uh, that's right. What I'm saying is that Friday the 13th is a superstition. Being unlucky is a superstition in general. Um, I'll talk about UFOs, ghosts, spirits, demons, monsters, superpowers, mutants, spontaneous healing, manifestation, all day long. But as far as Friday the 13th being unlucky, now that is a superstition if I ever heard it. My feeling is that there are just some things that have uh, happened during this American experiment, as we like to call it, uh, uh, that couldn't be helped but be just tarnished by the puritanical aspects of a heavy Christian influence. And so thus, for instance, repressed sexuality is an aspect of American culture that's not as evolved as, say, as in European cultures. I mean, I guess that can be disputed, but in my opinion, uh, if that were the case, so is Triskaidekaphobia. So my theory is that it seems that uh, this phobia almost entirely hinges on the... Uh, this the historical aspect of Jesus Christ having invited 13 guys to his last supper which didn't end up panning out to go in his favor so really besides this one origin story of the number 13 ending up uh, in a tragedy that's really the only thing that I can think of uh, that go you know maybe going back even further in history in Chinese origin the number four is considered unlucky for reasons that I don't even know but uh, one plus three equals four in numerology so that's even a bit of a stretch wouldn't you say meanwhile we have 13 phases of the moon before it completes its cycle 13 original colonies to the US I don't know if that has anything to do with it but maybe it does uh, thir the number 13 uh, is the next number after the the perfect number 12, according to Sumerian and Egyptian history. So um, there are many other secret societies that uh, base itself on the power uh, number 13, including a mentalist group that meets in New York City called the Legendary 13. And so uh, my feeling is no reason to fear, no reason to hate, Go ahead and believe in your potential, believe in manifestation, even believe in extraterrestrials. But for anything thought of as unlucky, if you were the judge with your natural sense of knowing, it should come across as non-useful information and therefore superstitious.